Okay, uh, welcome everybody to Forces in Equilibrium. The main goal of this lab is to prove that an object in equilibrium has a net force on it of zero. Um, observationally, you can see that the knot itself is not accelerating in any direction. Um, so the knot, which is our object, it's safe to say that the net force is zero, but again, that's not good enough. We are going to prove it uh, by measuring the forces acting on it and showing that the components in the x and y direction both sum to zero, which then means your overall sum of forces must equal zero. So to do that, we're gonna hang three different masses that look like this. Um, they have little disks on them that are removable, so you can change your masses by denominations uh, of disks. Um, you want to set up three different masses so you get an interesting geometry. You don't want everything to be the same. That would be too easy for all of us. And um, you're gonna do this in kind of uh, two different ways. So the first way is, uh, well, for both of them, what you're gonna do is uh, use a mirror uh, to eliminate parallax and sketch the three lines covered by the string over the paper. So you'll get one that goes straight down and one up at an angle to each side. And then um, that doesn't give you the magnitude of the force and the length of string doesn't give you the magnitude of the force. The magnitude is related directly to the weight of your hanging masses because uh, each mass hangs down uh, with a force of mg and they each pull on, the on a different string and so each string has a tension in it equal to the weight of one of your given masses. And you're going to use the magnitude of them to sketch your actual vectors with the correct length. And I know what you're thinking now is a force cannot be drawn, you can't draw newtons, but you can draw centimeters. And you just have to come up with an easy conversion factor to say every two centimeters represents one newton or every three centimeters represents one newton. Um, something so that you can apply a length to your force. And so, if, for example, you had a mass that was two newtons and you were drawing three centimeters per newton, your vector would be six centimeters long. And if you had another one that was 1.5 newtons and you were doing three centimeters per newton, it would be 4.5 newton or centimeters long. And so you just want an easy conversion factor so you can take the magnitudes and draw lengths relative to those magnitudes. You're then gonna directly measure X and Y components with a ruler and use your conversion factor. So if you measured your Y component to be three centimeters in our example, you would have one Newton as a Y component. Um, and you're gonna just take those direct measurements, convert them to Newtons, and show that your X components do in fact sum to zero and your Y components sum to zero. The other way you're going to do it is use sines and cosines to calculate um, x and y components, but again, it's a similar idea. Um, you're gonna take those x and y components and sum them together and show that you, again, end up in zero, uh, with zero for your values. Um, it's important to note uh, direction, uh, so positive, negative. Um, if you use all of your angles relative to the same point, that will come out in your sines and cosines, but it's something to keep in mind. Um, if one force pulls to the right and the other pulls to the left, one of those has to be negative. Um, the other things to think about um, are just, uh, have you scaled appropriately and have, are you careful in measuring your angles and dropping down perpendiculars to measure actual values. Um, but as we can see, the knot is not accelerating, so it is safe to assume that our values should come out to zero or very close to it. Um, the last thing you're gonna do is draw the vectors on a piece of paper and actually connect them uh, tip to tail and draw them together to make a triangle and show that you end up back where you started or that your net force is in fact zero. So you're gonna do three ways to prove that your resultant vector or your net force is zero. Um, and that's about it. So uh, it's just a little bit of drawing, a little bit of trigonometry, and a little bit of measuring with a ruler. Um, so hopefully it goes okay, and good luck. <laughs>